Vážené dámy, vážení páni, Distinguished ladies, distinguished gentlemen, my name is Richard Durana and I am the director of INES, the Institute of Economic and Social Analysis. It is a think tank which is organizing this conference along with European Liberal Forum. Competitiveness is a word which doesn't sound nicely, it sounds technocratically and it evokes in many people uh, some kind of fight in an arena, in a ring, where, where those who are stronger will destroy the weaker. You may say that if some countries stopped to compete or struggle in this arena, there would be more peace and love in the world. But it is a paradox that economic competitiveness, it's not about the ability to be better in the fight, but be better in cooperation in fulfilling the desires of others. Economic values come into being mainly due to in mutual interaction of people who exchange services and goods. Competitiveness uh, shows us whether we are able to do this exchange and if it will be smooth or if we need to overcome a number of obstacles in order to achieve it. Countries with higher degree of competitiveness become more rich and the higher competitiveness is crucial mainly for small and open economies uh, like the Slovak economy. The times when Slovakia had one of the highest growth in Europe and when, this, when Slovakia was an attractive place for foreign investors, these times are gone, unfortunately. Two weeks ago, the Minister of Economy at Itapak Congress said, in developed countries, Today, the fourth, so-called fourth industrial revolution is underway. Boom of innovations, digitalizations, internet economy, creation of digital market. Slovakia has to fully use this trend, has to catch this trend. But how to catch it if in 2013, in the, uh, among companies, among uh, foreign direct investments were 120 million euro, which is less than the budget of the Ministry of Economy. Our neighbors are not sleeping. And for instance, today Slovakia, which used to be a country with a flat tax, with the lowest rate in the region, uh, today it has the highest uh, corporate income tax from among post-communist countries. It is necessary to compete for domestic and foreign capital and without good without good uh, business environment we have to we can only offer more incentives to foreign investors which has to be borne by the taxpayers ines has been working on the topic of competitiveness for a long time and we would be happy if this topic was also a part of the electoral campaign in the summer we disclose the number of measures which can serve as an inspiration for political parties in Slovakia. And this conference uh, has the goal to bring inspiring ideas and successful examples from abroad. Uh, we will hear, hear about in the first expert panel and in the second section of our conference we will hear the representatives of political parties which will in front of the audience present their opinions and proposals. There is enough time for having a good discussion in both panels. Before I give the floor to Mr. Martens from European Liberal Forum, I would like to thank to the partners of this event, which include the Republic Union of Employers, IT Association Slovakia, Friedrich Naumann Foundation and Atlas Network, and the media, we have media partners, Actuality SK, N Daily and Hospodarske Novini Daily. I wish to all of you a strong intellectual experience and now I would like to uh, ask Mr. Martens to give his introductory words. Thank you. So, honorable members of parliament, uh, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of ELF, I'm very glad to welcome you to this International Conference on Competitiveness in Bratislava, which uh, is supported by ELF and organized together with Ines and Friedrich Naumann Foundation for Freedom uh, today. Competitiveness uh, is a shimmering word uh, from economics, 
concerning each single enterprise, national economies, and if we compare Europe with the Far Eastern or the North American economies, we have to deal with categories of, of competitiveness. What does it mean to us? What does it mean to be competitive? For a single enterprise, for the national, uh, for the national economy, it's uh, if we are looking deeper into this, we'll find out that uh, there are a lot of factors playing on that field. Education system, the link between sciences and universities and enterprises, the possibility to transform scientific uh, yeah, results into new products by starting new businesses. All that are factors related to competitiveness. And I hope we will have on the next two panels a real deep view into all the aspects of competitiveness and the meaning of these aspects to the future needs of politics. And uh, as you mentioned before, Mr. Dorma, um, competitiveness is not a question of earning more or less money. It's also a question whether uh, a single enterprise or an economic system is able to meet the needs of the consumers, consumers and the clients. And that's quite another aspect. So, one word to ELF. The European Liberal Forum is the platform of around 40 uh, think tanks, independent political institutions and foundations of the liberal family all over Europe. We are related to <coughs> liberal values such as uh, the rule of law, human rights and market trying to spread these principles all over Europe and especially in these days uh, I think we are in need to discuss these issues from a liberal perspective or perspective without fears and uh, without uh, pessimistic attitudes but with realistic uh, view on the problems ahead and so we will find, I hope we will find solutions uh, which can be presented uh, to the public and can influence the, the discussion on that field. So, again, be welcome to this conference and I hope we will have fruitful, uh, fruitful discussions today. Thank you.